Hi Ian, it was a total pleasure having you on our camp last weekend up in Aberdeen and uh, it was great to see how far you came uh, from when you first arrived which was all about gaining confidence to swim in one mile and knowing the steps to, to take to a triathlon and the bit that I want to focus in on in this video sequence is that straight line swimming, the breathing, the position and propulsion. Uh, let's remind ourselves of uh, going through them step by step. So the breathing one, let's have a quick uh, look at carry and swimming. And the thing that I wanted to really point out here is that constant flow of bubbles under the water, turning to breathe, and then constant again. And by doing that, it just allows her to set her whole stroke up. Um, so by being able to be consistent, be relaxed, uh, the breathing then sets the tone for the rest of the swim. So let's look at your very first uh, video. Um, and the thing that we noticed was that, um, yep, it's a little bit, uh, <laughs> the, the position's not great there in the water, your feet are quite low, but you're also um, not breathing out. So let's focus on the breathing to begin with. Um, so what you're doing there is out, in, in, out, in out. So there's this kind of a real kind of holding of the breath there. So it's really quite kind of tense. Here's it from the other angle. As Ken sorts the, the lens and yeah, here you go from the other angle. So um, yeah, so we, we see uh, that, that breathing kind of being quite snappy. The other thing that I'd like to, to look at whilst we're here on this angle was, was your head position. Uh, and it was like your face was just in the water, but not your head. And that meant that you were kind of quite top heavy in the water. Um, so we saw a lot of your shoulders, a lot of your head, um, but your, those famous shots are nowhere to be seen and, and the legs are um, slightly further down. So hence we moved on to the next bit, which was uh, body position. And as we see Kerry Ann going through the water, she is absolutely looking at that black light. You can see her really kind of looking down. And by doing that, it means that her body is able to follow that. So her shoulders and her hips are all kind of skimming across the top of the water. But it also means that she can use that kind of center line as an axis. And you can see her hips rotating, her body rotating around her spine. So everything is in line um, and rotating around that. And look at the difference here. So by being able to get your head um, fully in the water, your, your body shape was all of a sudden so, so much better. And it meant that you were able to rotate through that water. And by rotating, everything just looks so much easier. So you can see that you're able to, to maintain a far high le higher level of speed in that water. Uh, and the other thing that we started looking at was that um, the distance between your arm entry and um, your head rotating alongside your body. So the body rotating as one unit. Let's just have a quick look before we go into propulsion at what Kerry Ann does here. So we'll slow it down. As she turns to breathe, there's that real slow motion. Well, obviously she's not going to breathe. But you can see how she's just rotating through that, um, that position there. There you go. So the arm goes in, accelerates through the water and allows her hips to rotate as she goes there. So let's move on to the final one. And the thing that I think will make an equally huge amount of difference to you, uh, which is that idea that, that you're stretching out and you're pulling from your fingertips. So we'll just wait to see the, the the water here so your left arm is actually really good so it's allowing that uh, good rotation in the water there but the thing that I think you can make a real significant difference in is uh, being able to pull yourself through that water a little bit better so you're giving away quite a lot in terms of forward propulsion by not being able to, to pull through that water uh, and that idea that you're pulling all the way from your fingertips right up to your um, your elbow is, is the thing to work on. So here's a, that demonstration that I gave, gave you and, and it was just to really ex uh, exaggerate that idea that the pool is, it's all about find that position and then accelerate through the water there and there and there 
I'm not worrying too much about the front end of the water, but really accelerating through. And I think if you were able to, to work on that area, you would get another kind of quantum leap in terms of performance. But uh, delighted to see that message that you sent us to say that uh, you've, you've been able to plan backwards, that you're going for the 2K swim, not just the one mile. Um, so it's fantastic that you've got the confidence to go for it, and I'm sure you'll, you'll be able to do the training as well. Um, I'll just leave you with uh, a bit of my own swimming there as, as Ken was cranking up the machine to full blast. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you so much for all your, your patience, your, um, your curiosity uh, and your enthusiasm. It really did make a, a significant difference to the camp and uh, I hope, hopefully you got a lot from that. Um, it'll be great to see you at another camp sometime uh, soon. Uh, perhaps somewhere a little bit sunnier than, uh, than Knockburn. But thanks very much and see you soon.